almost still morning. <laughs> I wanted to talk today uh, about some stuff that's come up with some clients that people don't maybe understand uh, that is impacting how you do your business. So sometimes if you're on your phone and you type an email address, uh, then you go to use Outlook or Webmail or Mac Mail and you type that same email address and it or you start typing it and it doesn't populate and you're like come on it works on my phone but it doesn't work elsewhere and so i want you to just understand a little bit about how email works okay and you know that's my specialty and how from top down it can mess up your whole system and create hours and hours and hours of extra time during a day all right so from top down you buy a domain right Awesome. I'm going to use mine as an example, Darcy, uh, darcytalks.com. So, uh, or Agent Tech Mastery. Actually, that's a good one because that's new. I'm just switching things over to that. So I have a domain, Agent Tech Mastery, and I want to use that as a business email. Now, I need to pay for it, not free. Don't do it through GoDaddy or somewhere else. You need to actually pay for it in order for all this stuff to work properly, okay? Okay. Um, it's non-negotiable. Pay for your darn email addresses. So I pay for my email address and I get it. And it's now Darcy at agenttechmastery.com, right? And then I uh, set it up on my phone, on my tablet, on webmail, on um, uh, Outlook or Mac mail, whatever. Now, here's the thing that a lot of people don't understand is that all those things are what we call email clients or viewers. So on a phone, you could use multiple different apps to view your email. You could use the thing that comes with the phone or the tablet, or you could download an app. Does that make sense? So you could download Outlook, you could download uh, Gmail, you can download Spark. There's like hundreds of email applications. Those are the top probably three. Um, that are viewing your headquarters up there, okay, that is set up properly, <laughs> right? Then you move on to your computer. And to view that same stuff, you might use Outlook, and that's a third-party piece of software to view whatever is up here. You might use a web browser, which is what I recommend most people do because it's, uh, you're not using a third-party source to talk to your headquarters, you're going direct to the headquarters. Okay. All right. So does that make sense? So we got all that covered. So you could be using multiple different viewers to view, view the stuff up here. And each viewer has its own kind of memory of what you've done. So if I'm on my phone, and I type in I first time I type in an email address without adding them to my contacts, this is key. Without adding them to my contacts, then what happens is it only is remembered, it's called cached memory, not uh, cached like cached, but C-A-C-H-E-D, cached memory. It's memory inside that application. So then you go onto your computer and you go to email that same person, it doesn't remember because it's a different piece of software, okay? Does that make sense? I can hear people going, oh, so what I tell people, because sometimes what people do, and this is where you come into a lot of problems, is that you've never added any of these people into your actual contacts, okay? You're only using cached information on whatever device you're using. So maybe you've added it to your phone and your tablet and your webmail and Outlook and Macmail. And so now whenever you type anywhere, after you've added it to five different places, then you're good, kind of. You're not really good. What I want you to remember is to always add someone who you know you're going to be communicating with as a contact in your um, uh, contact. So again, as a contact in your contacts, right? So that means, what that means is that on my phone, if I'm in a, a contact on my phone set up properly, I always have to preface everything that it's set up properly, okay? I will, if your systems are mucked up and you're like, oh, that's me, I don't know how to fix it. I'm going to put a link below so you can schedule a quick uh, call with me and maybe I can help you get your systems in order. But this is really important to understand. If set up properly, remember, so I buy a domain, I've got agenttechmastery.com, then I get my business email, right? 
then all these other things that I use should be talking to that business email, which are everything that I use is talking to the business contacts. What I see with most agents and actually generally small business in general is they got five different email addresses. You use this for this and this for this and Apple messes you up. St stuff goes to their iCloud with contacts and calendar. And so you don't know why, even if you do add it to your contact on your phone, it still isn't updating on all the other spots because it's, it's um, the different devices have turned on things and the configuration is incorrect. So let me show you what I mean. I'm just going to change the view here. This is just a demo account. Oh no, this, hold on. What are you guys seeing? <laughs> hold on. Let me get to the right demo account. Okay. Yeah, this one. Okay. So let's just say, I'm just going to make up a fake, a fake account like Joe blow at uh, gmail.com. Okay. And he is not in my contacts. So I'm going to tell blah, 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 blah. Right. And I'm going to send this to Joe blow. Now I have to give it a minute. I don't know if this is going to actually, let's just see, will it work? Joe blow. I have to give it a minute. I have noticed with Gmail, like if I do this in a couple minutes, it will populate it. So uh, pretend that works as I type Joe. Oh, there it is. Joe blow Gmail. Okay. And he, it came back, it bounced back. It is not in my contact. So it's not going to sync anywhere. This is only on the web browser version of Gmail. Okay, so I'm good if I'm emailing Joe Blow back and forth. But what I highly suggest you do is you want to add Joe Blow to your contacts. All I did is tap on it. Every viewer has its own little way of doing things. Okay, Outlook, you can add contacts, but it's slightly different. Uh, this is Gmail, so it's slightly different. iPhone, Android, iPad, they're all slightly different, but they all have a way where you can say, hey, I want to communicate with Joe. I want him on my phone. So if I added Joe Blow to my contacts, okay, and I edit the contact, this is where people, you have to really understand how contacts work. So here's Joe Blow. Then I want to go put Joe Blow, right, and all the company details and all that. As soon as I put Joe's phone number in here, I save it. And again, I have to preface it with if it's set up properly, this is really important, that when Joe Blow texts me on my phone, it'll actually say Joe Blow. Okay? If you don't have it in your contact, it will only say the phone number. And so I know you're scrolling through and you're like, who the heck is that? I don't know, right? So this is why it's really important to understand how contacts impact your whole life. They have to be set up properly so everything talks to each other. OK, again, I'm going to put the link below so you can um, schedule a 30 minute session so we can chat. And uh, if you have any questions, you can ask below as well. And it is confusing, but it's all fixable. It's all fixable to get all the different emails that you use to not lose emails, to have everything go to your new email account, to have the calendars come over to your new email account, to have contacts come to your new email account, no matter where it is, or if it's a spreadsheet or it's in a CRM or whatever, to all be talking to one source, like Darcy at agenttechmastery.com. All my contacts are there. I update my phone. It updates Mac mail and Outlook and my phone and my tablet and my CRM. Okay. Hope you have a fantastic day. Again, any questions, put them below. Talk to you later. Bye.